Months of heartbreak and grief today marks a somber milestone in the wake of the shooting at the South St. Louis High School that left a student and teacher dead and many others injured or scarred. The family of that student who did not survive, Alexandria Bell, is honoring her memory this evening, as well as all others impacted on October 24th. News 4's Gabriela Vidal is live in North City at Alex's burial site where tonight's memorial is being held. Gabby. Yeah, Corey, this is Laurel Hill Memorial Gardens. This is where a balloon release will be taking place here shortly. You see family members are arriving with their balloons, getting ready to honor Alex Bell on this six month anniversary. But earlier today, Alex's mother joined campus leaders and students at Central Visual and Performing Arts for a day of healing on this anniversary. A spokesperson for the district tells News 4 students were given time during the school day to participate in artistic and therapeutic activities, including talking with Keisha Akers, Alexandria Bell's mother. The school's principal says they don't want this tragedy to define the CVPA school community. Keisha Akers tells News 4 this is one of the first times since the shooting she's felt a sense of calmness and acceptance in her daughter's death, but remains frustrated more isn't done to address students' mental health and gun laws to prevent a tragedy like this from happening again. They want the adults to pay attention. They just want attention. The kids need attention. They want somebody to acknowledge their being, acknowledge that they're actually here and that I'm a person and that my feelings matter. And a lot of people don't. As far as the guns are concerned, uh, it, it doesn't just start with the kids. It starts with who sells them, who's being held accountable for, who sells the guns. Because if you're just looking for a sale, that's the issue. Like I said, family is starting to gather here at Alexandra Bell's uh, burial site, getting ready for this balloon release. And News 4 has also been pressing the St. Louis Police Department as to why they haven't released any body camera video, much in the way that other uh, departments have released them in the wake of tragedies, such as the Central Visual and Performing Arts School shooting. Although I did speak with Keisha Akers earlier today, and she tells me she doesn't want the video to be released. She says she's seen enough of it already and just doesn't want the community to be re-traumatized by this event. We'll be here covering this as well and provide you more updates on this balloon release as it unfolds later today. Reporting live, Gabriella Vidal, News 4. All right, Gabby.